That's what we're up against is the creativity. These items confiscated during intake. What inmates try to get into jail and where they put them may surprise you. Inmates, some of them are very creative. Sheriff Kevin Joyce says what's coming in now, as opposed to years ago, is far more dangerous. Now it's drugs that are going to actually kill people. The Cumberland County Jail is currently investigating one potential overdose death of an inmate earlier this year and one confirmed death back in April of last year. But that's one too many, you know. I mean, again, people should be safe here. And a huge step forward toward that goal. A new body scanner is up and running at the Cumberland County Jail. It'll be great. It's going to cut down on a lot of drugs coming in the facility. It took roughly six weeks to build, and we were there from the beginning. The machine itself, it's really simple. That's a simple x-ray. Simple, but detailed. You can see lungs, that's his heart. In a scan that only takes 14 seconds, intake can see most everything foreign in someone's body. Here you can see rivets, shoelaces, even dental work. You can see partials or cavities, so if somebody's got something in their mouth, you're going to see the mass that's there. Or something that might be hiding. It is just an easy way to rid the jail of contraband. It's very, very simple. Admittedly, it's not perfect. Eric Moody says it's still up to intake to carefully review the scan. Because while the doors are secure, they aren't foolproof. We try every day to keep drugs out of the jail. And I emphasize try because there are people that are trying to get drugs past us. However, it is a major step forward, solving a problem of drugs in our jails. It's technology Sheriff Joy says could save lives. Desperate people that need drugs are going to do desperate things to try to acquire them. This helps us out in identifying those folks. Now, there are some exclusions about who will be scanned. For example, pregnant women will not be. The body scanners cost $200,000. It was part of the sheriff's office budget. Sheriff Joyce says he knows that's a very steep price tag, but also it's worth it when safety is concerned. Tracy.